Hello everyone, welcome to Unable Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new Stardust tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create 3D plexus styles using Stardust in Adobe After Effects. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition, let's apply Stardust to this layer and then I'm going to remove these nodes and then add a mall node here and then choose primitive and plane. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. And to create the plexus look, we need to create a wireframe for this model. And I already covered that in the previous tutorial, so make sure to check it out to know exactly in depth how to create the wireframe look in Stardust. And for now, let's disable this node and add a mirror and particle node. Uh, let's connect that and on emitter, let's rename these two edges and choose type to objects and emitting once and zero out the speed and on particle I'm going to set these life to 20 seconds and then choose model here and I'm going to add a model and let's connect these with the particle and here I'm going to choose cylinder and on the Y I'm going to put there 100 and the size 0.5 and so to see what's going on let's connect this edge to this model so we have something like this and on particle we need to set size to 1 and on edges here we have object property so make sure emit type set to edges and inherit size and then zero out the subdivide and so on particle we need to correct the orientation so here we need to see these rotation properties orient to normal and on property here we have a model properties so we need to orient that as well so now we have the wireframe for this and so let's duplicate these to create to create the edge to create actually the vertex so here we're going to rename these to vertex and of course on properties here of the objects we need to change these edges to vertices and the model we need it to be a sphere so here we need to set these to sphere and size to maybe five for now so here we got our wireframe so let's create a new camera here and so we can see it okay so now we need to add here a deform node and then connect it to this model and on deform we have few properties here so we have a position offset and now we can offset everything there as you can see got a very cool effect there so i'm going to put that just around there in turbulence type i'm going to choose here axis and choose the axis there so we have this look and nothing animated here so here we have few properties to play with so we have the scale noise as you see give different looks there so i'm going to choose something there and the levels let's put that to five and amplitude to 200 or maybe just 150 or just 100 and frequency to 1 so maybe we can crank up now the amplitude and also the size here okay so we got something like this and here we have a nice speed so let's put that to 5 and let's preview how this looks like So as you see this look pretty cool 
And so now on this model, I'm going to create here on model property, we can create a null. And so now I can control these and just place it where I want. So let's place it there. And let's duplicate this null. And also I'm going to duplicate the model here. So we have two and I'm going to connect these with the emitters and also the deformer and reassign these with the second duplicate of the node so we can place in the other side something like this and we can have a different orientation there and maybe even different segments and properties so to have a different look so maybe there are just 10 let's give it another preview here so i see this look pretty cool so now we can animate the camera here to make it look very interesting. So let's keyframe the camera here and maybe just going to zoom these and maybe go inside here. And so just we can play this one. So let's change position of it, so wherever we want. And let's preview this again. Okay, so this uh, how the first example was set up. So this is the second one using the same technique here, as you see here, we have um, just the camera is animating there and just different property for the deform node. So playing with the camera animation and if you want to get this nice uh, look, you can just actually go to Stardust and render settings and then enable um, this fog and change the color there. So we can have and play with sort and end so you can have a very cool look. So that's the same for the first example here. So now we're going to uh, create the tunnel. So I'm going to duplicate this comp and let's rename these to Plexus Tunnel. So now with the same setup here, I'm going to just let's remove these and remove this camera and everything. Just going to leave here or just disable these as well. So now we have only the model here with the wireframe. So Let's choose the primitive uh, cube and let's have a nice cube here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, and if we just enable back these and create a null for these so we have null to, to place these and also we're going to create camera for it. And so here, let's put these back. And we can animate the camera like we did before. So here, let's animate the camera here. And let's preview and see how this looks like.
So as you see, this looks pretty cool. So now we can do a few adjustments. So maybe here we're going to put just a few, maybe 15 there. So it's up to you. And let's add few lights to make this look very cool. So let's add here ambient lights. Let's put there 10 and add material node and let's link it there. Maybe that light needs to be white. Let's put it white there and going to add a new point light here. So the point light we want to create color here, maybe red. And we want to place that somewhere in closer there. And we want to have a higher value and the fall off controlling it as well. And yeah, let's duplicate that and have a different color. And place it in the middle there. Maybe you're right there. Another duplicate. And that one is going to be, let's put it white. So let's see here. So here you can see we create these. It looks very cool. And so now we can have few adjustments on the material. We can put that to transparent and then play with the settings as well. So maybe here we can put 50 on the opacity for both. You can't see much, but it is there some transparency look. And so here I'm going to add a gradient actually here, a texture. And I'm going to use it here as emissive texture. So I'm going to assign it right here. And you can see, not sure if you can see that much, but maybe you're going to choose back these to transparency. And you can see how we mix both lights and these gradients texture. And now I'm going to show you how to create this tunnel using cylinders. So let's duplicate this comp to use the same setup. So on a model, I'm going to choose cylinder instead and put there on the X300 and 8000 on the Y. And let's disable these deform for now. And on the camera, I'm going to get right off this animation and orient the camera on the Z axis. So we have something like this. Let's switch to a left view so we can see the objects, all of it. And I'm going to add a deform node and connect it to this model so we can bend it. So here we have a bend on deform type and I'm going to choose here X axis distort. I'm going to sit there five and you can see it's bending. So let's just rotate these objects. So we can see it here and you can see how much it's rotates or banded that object there. So here we have the amount and I'm going to put this to 50. So we have something like this. Maybe going to put it just 25. As you see, something like this. And now we can 
animate the camera here so let's adjust the camera and we're going to add a keyframes here and then at the end of the tunnel or so we're going to put it right there so I'm just going to leave it to the middle and then adjust these path so let's preview and see how this looks like so I see that's look pretty cool so here we can do all the adjustments for these so maybe here we can just add more of the tunnel at the end of it if you need to but basically that changed uh, you will need to adjust the path because the way it's keep bending so I'm just going to leave it at maybe 9000 and then you can just get back and enable the deform here and for this one position offset to 300 and then here we can just use normal or whatever you want or how you want that to look so we have all the flexibility for it so maybe axis and choose normal just to have a subtle movement there and you can do all the very cool stuff to make it look good as we put here we add a glow and we add a volumetric lights at the end of that and also set up the lights there as you need to so here we can adjust the lights where they need to be and so on so this was the tutorial of today hope it was very useful for you guys and if you have any questions just comment and i will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching